Zambia has won praise over the proposal to have surgery and anesthesia as key components of the primary health care. The proposal attracted a lot of comments, and all the comments were positive. The approval and adoption of the resolution came after more than two hours of debate. The adoption of the resolution means that surgery and anesthesia are now part of the universal health coverage and will be implemented by WHO member states. We are therefore committed to implementing the resolution to which we spoke as Zambia on behalf of the African region in the debate and which we now can safely say we speak on behalf of the world. Let there be action, an action plan at the center, but above all, let each country have its action plan as soon as possible. That is ex our experience of PHC. We can no longer fail to do it after that experience. The surgical intervention is one such areas that uh, we need to also think in the situation like uh, earthquake, disaster, so keep up with your good work, all right? After a side event of the 68th World Health Assembly, I caught up with the Minister of Health just to get a sense of Zambia's priority in implementing the resolution. Our first area of concentration will be to ensure that women in pregnancy, when they need surgery, get it and get good quality surgery. The second point, which has been emphasized mostly by those who spoke, the many who supported the resolution, was the training of health workers to do surgery has to be enhanced, has to be strengthened, and that fits in very well with our own uh, national commitment to competence as one of the three clean, caring and competent. Medical experts say surgery can prevent death and disability. With the adoption of the resolution on surgery and anesthesia by the World Health Assembly, many lives will be saved. Efim Pande, ZNBC News, Geneva, Switzerland.